Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back! Today we are here with Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra... Wait, what? Well, did I say Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon? My bad. <laughs> We're here today with Pokemon... Um, Starlight and Solar Moon and all that shit. So, here we go. We're going to continue our adventure. I actually did grab one Pokemon from out of our PC. And that is Stick It. Now, the truth is, I kept losing to my rival constantly. And so I decided to grab me a bug type. There is actually bug types, a dragon in bug type, that you can potentially get out of this very root that I'm in. There's also a psychic and fairy type I can also get from out of this root. That's extremely rare. These Pokemon are very rare. Um, but unfortunately, uh, one of these Pokemon, I'm not really, I'm not interested in these Pokemon in my team. What's this? Okay, never mind. <laughs> so, I'm, I will capture them, but uh, I will not affiliate them with my team. I will stick with Stick It. Get it? You see what I do? <laughs> I'm a stick with Stick It. Oh, man. So, yes, uh, he's a bug type. I can deal with my rival a lot more better and deal with grass types a lot more better. You have Drizzle? Yes. Floby will be a decent Pokemon to deal with grass types, uh, actually. But, uh, eh, Floby, I tried this Pokemon. Really cool Pokemon. Just not the one for me. That should kill you. Yeah, that's what I thought. I can't take on a Floby, honestly. Unless I actually give my Pokemon a weak move. Uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, well, I do have Stick It, but that's a flying type, and you are a bug in grass. Yeah. I'm not sure what to do there. So, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll attempt to catch him. Now you're level 9. You still have Drizzle. Maybe a hit button won't kill you. It's non stab. Okay, never mind. The Pokemon here are way too weak. I over leveled my Slandip. He's only like 16 levels away from uh, evolving again. Ugly. Oh, you ugly. Go ahead and bubble your ass. Yes, you live with a sliver. So growl me. Okay, so we're gonna throw you. Pokeball at you. Just definitely catch you. I wish you could just transfer Pokemon to the PC immediately. Even though you're my entire party, you know. Due to their undeveloped wings, Ungling are unable to fly on the other hand on the other hand, they're very skilled swimmers. Able to dive in for over ten minutes for food. Ten minutes. So they're able to survive. I mean, not survive, but... Oh, you're cool. So they're able to, um... Hold their breath for more than... T for 10 minutes. Like, that's really cool. 10 minutes should be the average time, so it should be more than 10 minutes. That's pretty cool. Aquad. I already have a wire type, so I don't need you, buddy. I will catch you. You broke free, wow. You're a tough son. Why won't you get in the Pokeball, bud? You're, st you're on Silver HP. Oh, shit. Okay, buddy. I see how it is. Better get in this Pokeball before I beat that ass. Um, you better get in this Pokeball. I don't get it. You're on a Sliver. Do I have a Great Ball? I don't care anymore. Okay, my speed fell, but it sounded like it rose. There we go. Jeez. That man was not having it. <laughs> Aquad often swim against river uh, currents in order to train their muscles. They switch their strong tails in order to help themselves keep steady. You're a cool Pokemon, but I already have a water type. And in terms of a fighting type, I can think of something better? Oh no, I don't need a fighting type. Oh my gosh! You have huge power? What? If you guys don't know what huge power does, it essentially doubles the attack stat of a Pokemon. 
Oh my goodness. That's really good. I mean, you're, yeah, yeah, you're really good. That's just that. I don't want. I, I don't need another water type. It's just redundant. Are you the only Pokemon here? That was 798 in total? Jesus. Went to the Asian market to try and, and bought me some salmon because I heard it works wonders for your acne. It's the best uh, type of meat you can eat. But, um... Because I'm not trying to eat beef and chicken. If you guys don't know, beef and chicken is just terrible. It is terrible. Let me tell you. Manufacturers put some bad stuff in there, man. So what moves do you guys have? Bubble. I'm gonna switch into you. Maybe he won't attack me or hurt. Never mind. You do have gust. I just need to hit you once. You're not a water type, even though you have drizzle. They did nothing. Oh, luckily you went for water sport. One more. Perfect. Your mind, Floby. Get in the Pokeball. Floby's a cool Pokemon, but I, I don't... Unfortunately, I don't need you. I'd rather have a bug type than, honestly, a... Honestly, a ward. I don't know, like, a bug type over a flying type. Because, actually, truth is, in terms of flying, I have an idea. Not an idea, but I just, I don't know. Floby in his final evolution, I have, I used that Pokemon in the previous, the previous demos. On the previous demo, actually. If you check back at my walkthrough. Um, I don't know. Floby is just not, it's called Pokemon, but it's just not my type. See what I did there? <laughs> Isn't my type as a flying type? <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. It's just that the Pokemon seems a little girly. Or just cute. And it's just... Uh, I'm not that type of player. Like, honestly, I like Pokemon that show aggression and coolness and stuff like that. It's like, I've been, I've been playing this game for, like, since I was a kid. So that's how I am. It's just that I don't like anything cute or adorable on my team. Oh, of course, sure, I like adorable, cute Pokemon. But who doesn't? But it's just... That's just not me. Although small in light, Floby can use its, uh, use its control over the wind to create strong breezes that are capable of lifting an adult adults off their feet. I really just don't want any girly, cute Pokemon. I'm not that guy. Hey Cole, wait. That was her. Uh, Kira. You know what? I won my first badge too. Donna was strong, but I managed to defeat her. Now I'm going to take on the chest light city gym leader. Let's do our best. By the way, can you see those trees on your left side? They are ape apricorn trees? It is hard gold and soul silver. I know what apricorns are. They give you unique pokeballs. At least that's what their gimmick is supposed to be. Well how about this? We have a little valley. And if you win, I'll let you I'll let you what's wait. Well, how about this? I have a we'll have a bow. We have a battle? Grammar in this game. <laughs> if you win, I'll tell you what's so special. I'll even give you a gift, so let's battle. I already know what they do, but okay. I don't know why you would have a Floby when you have a wire type, I mean a fire type in your team. <laughs> I am so over leveled. Look at this. I'm also trying to find that the passwords out for the. Oh, this music is actually getting intense. I actually want to find the passwords for that password uh, P 
Peak guy, whatever his name is, back at that city. You have so much talent. Oh, I'm talented. Oh, wow, good battle. I'll be better next time. Let me heal your Pokemon. Thank you. I was going to tell you about the Apricorns either way. You see, there's a man in a shore town that can turn these Apricorns into special Pokeballs. I know, right? It's so cool. These Pokeballs are special because he makes them by hand. Each different color Apricorn makes a different kind of Pokeball. Here, take this. Apricorn basket. I bet. You can find trees all around the place and pick the Apricorns, and once you get to a shore town, Bird will turn them into Pokeballs. Well, I better go. Good luck, Cole. I'll see you around. And there she goes. So I can take those right now, those nuts, and, um... Yeah. Use them for later. Oh, can I plant them? Oh, I can. Okay. Hmm. I don't think I'm gonna plant plant this somewhere I can just get too easy. So I'm up against a grass type bait. Grass type? I don't know. What can Ugg slap uh slap them not take on? You can take on ground types. My bug type can do that. Um you struggle against other water types, my grass type can deal with that. I'm not sure. Yeah, well, I guess those two things. There's a couple other, couple other things that the loud nip can't take care of. It's only something. A great ball. <laughs> I have to talk to my Pokemon often. That's so cool. You look like a water train. This is a good way of leveling up. I wish I had the lucky egg. I know who holds it in this game, but I don't. I don't know. Um. I know who has it, but I don't know how to obtain it from them. So, that's gonna have to wait. Dwell. And now, Bubble. Alright, stick it. Whip him real good. Stick it. Stick it real good. Wait, stick it real. Wait, hold up. Pause. Pause. <laughs> what am I talking about? What in the hell? Prasalsal Lady Alita. Hmm. You look mighty thick, girl. I'm kidding. Yeah, I also need an electric type on this team. Because flying types are not my, um... Are not my friend. Prison berry. Oh, this is where you get berries. You, you don't need a plant to just come off the tree. Well, that's everything for that from that route. Actually, there is more, but yeah. my mom said that I shouldn't go alone on a route, so she gave me a hamster. I have to keep watching here. Many thieves are doing their business and. Crest Light City. What are you doing here then? You'd be in there getting them. That makes sense, buddy. What the hell's going on? And when I was taking a stroll with my love hug, I could feel a strange presence. I looked around, but I couldn't see anything suspicious. But then, in a flash, someone grabbed my handbag and ran away with it. Benny Vidi Fugi. What a hero. Benny Vidi Fugi. What the? What? What was he? S what? 
I'm just so confused. It just... <laughs> it must have been quite a shock, madam. But I understand the handbag has been found, right? Yes, yes. Damon just found it for me. I'm so glad. I nearly broke my neck over it. Perhaps we should charge the thief for attempt murder as well? That's... that's kind of, Yeah, that's ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous, D Damon. Madam, are you missing anything from the handbag? Miraculously, I only missed the Pokeball of my love hub. An empty one, that is. I could have been... A I could have been in a lot more trouble, so I'm really relieved. Good to hear you aren't missing anything like a wallet, madam. Do you remember any details about the thief? No, I swear he was just a moving shadow. Perhaps it was a malicious dark Pokemon instead. A malicious dark Pokemon? I d didn't know those existed. You don't need to joke around, Damon. We have to take this very seriously. There are numerous reports of similar incidents in the past few days. I'm terribly sorry. I'm just bitter about the recent events. I thought we banished those scoundrels from daylight and put them under lock and key. I'm afraid you cannot solve this problem on your own, Diamond. You might be right, but I won't give up. How could the thieves remain untraceable? I'm, s I'm starting to fear for our safety in this city. Um, if I may add something, we just got a report. Apparently, suspicious, <clears throat> mysterious people have been seen in Blackleaf Woods. They might be the ones we are looking for. After all, most incidents occur in the Vincent vicinity. Wait, hold up. The, vi the vicinity of Blackleaf Woods. Most instances occur in the vicinity of Blackleaf Woods. Okay, I want to rephrase that. My bad. I will vanish into the shadows and go in full pursuit of these criminals. I opt... He's just walking away like that. <laughs> I, I opt for a strict security measure in Crest Light City. We won't let anyone in or out until we have more clarity about their uh, whereabouts. Blackleaf Woods is a dead end, so those criminals will get stuck there eventually. I understood, sir. I'll inform the authorities. Great. Hmm. Where's Damon, actually? He just walked away like that. <laughs> you didn't see him? He suddenly disappeared without a trace. That's unfortunate. Never mind. I will block the north entrance of the city. My workmate will block the south one. Alright, sir. I'm on the way. Subside, civilian. Hey, you. Who are you? A trainer? Looking for a gym bow? I have to say, you're a lucky one. We have a block... We have the... We have to block the city's gateway for a crime. That means you you have to stay within the city's the city until it's solved. The only accept the only uh accessible part is Blackleaf Woods, which is a dead end, so there are nowhere to run or hide. Damon, the gym leader, is helping us, so he isn't in his gym at the moment. He is searching for mysterious guys in Blackleaf Woods. I think you should I think you shouldn't get in his way. Oh, I will definitely be in there. How bad does your life... Wait, how bad does your life that you still... Oh, okay, that's perfect grammar. How bad is your life that you would steal someone's Pokeball from other people? I hope the police and that man can solve this crime. I had to completely rephrase that. <laughs> because that was poor grammar. Welcome to Ricardo's police station. We are searching for some burglars at the moment. If you have any hints about their location, please tell us. My favorite Pokemon is Lepuk. It's just too cute and pink, just like me. Can you tell? But you know what I've heard. But you know what I've heard? There's a secret to Lepuk that it can get scary strong. Wonder what the secret is. Really? That's new. And you look like that chick off of Kill a Kill. That psycho pink girl. There's a house in Blackleaf Woods. Many say it's haunted by a ghost that shines bright. Oh boy. Yeah, not bad. Who are you, good sir? You look like a mood tour. When I was younger, I was hunting for gold in Goldun's forest. I found a vine of gold and now I have it always on my side. 
Okay, you just gotta come around and tell me that without giving me it? I was suspecting that, sir. You really just... Wow. Hey, you are a trainer, aren't you? You shouldn't venture into Blackleaf Woods without a warning. There are many Dark-type Pokemon living in those woods. They're known for their mischievous ways. I heard that Dark-type Pokemon are weak against Bug-types, which is something I have for Fairy-types and Fighting-types. So those types would be good to have with you in there. Oh, I'm and oh, and I remember now. There was a trainer in one of these buildings who wanted to trade a Pokemon. Maybe you should see what it is. It could be useful. Really? It's a house. Oh, that's right. You were telling me that. This city is very old. You like to keep it this way. City of life in the dark. And it's very edgy and silly. For a tile or even a, of a city or whatever. Have you met Demon? He's so mysterious and dreamy. The boy is a little weird. Their types are known for being sneaky and quick-witted. If you plan on challenging the gym, you better stay up. You better have a good strategy. Yeah, I got a good strategy. Spam bug type moves. There's a Pokemon in Blackleaf Woods called Gecko. I want one, but my sister doesn't like him. My brother wants Gecko. I want a lot pug. I want a lot pug. There's better Pokemon than lot pug out there, lady. Give me a little girl. Hello, girl. I'd like to share my knowledge with young trainers that train dark type Pokemon and help them become the best they can be. Oh, you don't have a dark type Pokemon in your party. What a shame. Hmm. Sometimes it rains here and gets misty. It keeps this place mysterious. It keeps it weird in my opinion. Gloomy. There's nothing like a good time fishing. You aren't you haven't got a rod? Here, take this. All right, okay. I'm glad to help trainers see how fun fishing can be. Thank you, I probably will never use this. You're a psychic type, what are you doing? Certain Pokemon can be... Certain Pokemon can be very depictive in their appearances. There's more to them than meets the eye. Gekon being one of these particular cases of having a secret power deep inside. Yes, Gekon. This Pokemon can transform into any of their typing. I played the previous versions. You're gonna tell me that this gym is out of, uh, is out of, uh, out of what? I'm not sure where I was going with that. <laughs> this is gonna tell me the gym leaves away. I'm scared of the dark, that's why I stay inside. Maybe if I glow in the, maybe if I got a glow in the dark Pokemon, it'll be okay to play outside. Because of the darkness in the city, I no longer need to wear makeup. Huh. Oh, hello. Are you interested in training a Pokemon? I have a Foxy. I caught it the other day, but it doesn't seem to like me much. I'm looking for a trade this... I'm look looking to trade this Foxy for an England. Oh, okay. In England? Oh, wait. Is that the evolved version of this Pokemon? Come on. Because of the dark... Oh, wait. You sure told me that. <laughs> the darkness. I've already been around here. Uh, that's the Pokemon that guy was trying to trade me with me, but I don't need it, I suppose, since I have a bug type. Was I over here? Are you a trainer? Oh, yes. Here, have this then. Three dust balls. Thank you. It's awesome. I like selling the Pokemon here because it's almost always night time for them. Mm, I'm sure they act differently according to their environment, so when I'm done with my research here, I plan on going to a city with normal daylight hours. I really need to find the passwords. I really want to find that out. It's just that I would need to scavenge everywhere for clues. And it's just that I have no leads on a clue. So it's almost impossible to know what I would need to figure out that password from that guy to get my lucky egg. It was from the previous Pokemon Center that I'm talking about. I just don't know what to do. Do you have the square thing there? Do you see that square thing? Uh, 
okay, okay. Thank you so much for telling me something I already know. Me and my husband are fans of rare Pokemon. I've heard of a pink fairy Pokemon with big hand ear. Oh, okay, I know what you're talking about, Love Pug. I don't have the Pokemon. Hello, I'm here because I lost one of my Pokeballs in Blackleaf Woods. But now I'm too scared to go back into the forest. Maybe you could search for my Pokeball. Yes, I can. You're a thief. Hello there. You look like someone who can do me a favor. I'm looking for an item. It's a big nugget. I heard from a man living in the city who has one hidden in his house. Okay. If you find it, please bring it back to me. So that old man who was talking about that mind and whatever. Where is he? In this house. Oops, I, I went inside so fast. I thought I was gonna... Let me see what was inside and move out real quick. But yeah, okay, that's not it. It's most likely this one. Are you searching for something? Leave my house or I'll call the police. So you tell me every time I go. <laughs> oh no. Maybe it's trash. It's in his house, but like, where do I look to see? Nothing but uh, lots of books, no big nugget. How can I find it? There's nowhere on the chair, like we meet under the chairs. I don't even know if that's a chair or what. Why would you have a nugget in your fridge? Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's a plant. Well, there's a nugget. Now I have to get the Pokeball. The only place that I can go is Blackleaf Forest, and I believe this is it. Yeah. Blackleaf Woods is a dead end, so be careful not to getting oh not getting lost. Okay. Oh, this place sounds ominous. Jesus. Oh man, that sounds scary. I have all these Pokemon in my party. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have them with me. I would use them. Actually, I can use them to catch. Actually, no, I can use. Uh, stick it for that reason. If I want to catch any Pokemon, stick it isn't as high level as my my slug. You, you're really cool. I wish I had you, but I already have a. Water type, so yeah. So we got we got a couple Pokemon there. It's gonna take forever to get every single Pokemon in this game. I know that for sure. What the? Okay, well they're in the house. Now I'm gonna end the episode real quick. That's gonna be it for today. A little short episode, not too short though. Oops. We'll be continuing our adventure throughout this forest, so thank you guys for watching. Peace.